of cash, which could spell trouble for merchants during the holiday shopping season. No new talks have been set. Strikers are protesting cutbacks in wages and benefits. A man who took a spin on California's law. Joined a walkout begun yesterday by armored transport guards and drivers. Over 1,000 members of the cash and securities handlers are now off the job in California, and pickets are now visible from San Francisco to Los Angeles. As Bill Valdez reports, the strike might get larger still. It's day two of a strike against the Armored Transport Company of California, and now the strike is spread to include drivers and guards at the Brinks Company. Spokesman for the strikers, Ed Caulfield, says that support is growing for the strikers. The snowball effect and more and more offices in California are going out, and it's projected hopefully by the end of the week that we will be get, meeting hands with the powers in back east, the armored companies back east, when night and as one. Caulfield says as many as 1,200 businesses in our county will be feeling a pinch of low cash reserves by the end of this week. But in a random telephone interview this morning with bank department and store managers, the opposite seems to be true. They report that strike has had little effect on them. Armored transport officials in Los Angeles have declined to comment on the strike. And at the present time, it is not known when company officials and strikers will begin negotiation towards a strike settlement. In Ventura, Bill Valdez, KTI TV News. Late this afternoon, cash and security handler pickets were assaulted by a Vaughn's security guard driving a car. The security guard, we were told, drove his car into the picket line and hit three of the strikers. Charges are being filed against the man who has not yet been identified. None of the picketers were injured. Ironically, the security guard was hired to keep peace at the Ventura Vaughn store during the meat cutter strike. Your check this week. That's because armored car drivers are on strike, sending cash flow on the low side. Lisa Hammer reports. Armored car drivers were back out on the picket lines on the second day of the strike. They're charging the management with unfair labor practices. But banks, supermarkets, and stores are the ones being most hurt by the strike because they rely on the armored transport to transfer their money. They have been fair up until this time, um, until these cuts. And which, though the ground we have is that they are a violation of the federal law. And um, that's all we need to get back to work is just get back what we had. The strikers here are fighting against reductions in work benefits and wages. We tried to get a response from the management at this Ventura branch. I wanted to know if you could comment on the strike. Not at all? Management has no comment. Meanwhile, management is taking the place of armored car drivers. But a carpool of strikers followed this truck throughout Santa Barbara and Goleta to apply more pressure. We won't do anything to harm the public or the trucks. Uh, we're not out here to, to hurt anybody. We just want the public to know that we're upset about what's going on. We want, to, want them to see what we're doing. The strikers say only two out of 12 trucks were servicing Santa Barbara and Ventura today. The driver of this truck is a janitor. Most drivers carry a gun and go through polygraph tests. This one didn't. Back at the Ventura branch, some supermarket managers were picking up money on their own. The guards here don't know how long the strike will last, but they said by Friday, California would be virtually shut down, causing a great financial crisis. So they say it's up to the management and public to prevent that. In Ventura, Lisa Kim, KCOI News Watch.